and have an improved as history over the methods of influencing people. This book encourages the people to live a life full of stress, depression, anxiety, any mismanagement, and total ease. It guides them in emotional and rational feelings of their life. This book brings personal change. The seven habits present in the book are crucial for everyone. The first three habits tell us about self-management and time management. And the other three habits are based on human behavior in the society. And the last habit deals with renewal. The first habit in the book is to be proactive. It says how we can prove to be strong enough to face the challenges in our life. It is all about the responses to the hardship of life. As it says, it is not what you must to do in life. It is what you do about it. It means we have the complete authority to decide what and how our lives are going to be. The second habit is linked with the first one. It's beginning with the end in mind. We usually make plans for what we do in a day, but that's not enough. Our plans are essential for the rest of our life. They are going to decide our future. Without goals, we are no different than anything. As the book says, the road to anywhere is really a life to nowhere. If we let the things happen, then we will live a pointless life. The third habit is put trust in trust, which teaches us how to prioritize or manage our time for doing the important thing first, not last. In the 21st century, a person has to deal with hundreds of things on their faces, but fail in managing them properly. This habit makes us realize that we need to leave our comfort zone, which represents the last things. Activities of fun, meeting the usual friends, visiting different places, etc. And we should go to our current zone, which represents the first things. Difficulties, opportunities, bravery, risks, and boring lessons. The next two habits help us to improve the key relationship. It is enriched with proved guidelines and how to have a good relationship. We can live a happy life when the people around us are happy with us. The fourth habit, think when win, is all about attitudes towards life. Not only about me or you, but both of us. This habit brings a sense of equality in people and makes them far from the attitude which makes the relationship a danger. Like win lose, lose win, and lose lose. This habit is not only about a game or a match, but all of the dealings in our life. We can apply it while dealing with our siblings, a friend who needs help, or a person on a video of a fight. In this era of competition, we can see many problems, but the book describes rationally better by avoiding unnecessary competition and comparison. We can have a win-win attitude and build a strong relationship. The fifth habit, seek first to understand, then to be understood. Suggest us that how important it is to listen to others before making them listen to you. Though we have a lot to say, to complain, or to criticize, we need not to utter them all without giving a chance to the one who needs to be listened to. The sixth habit, synergize, is the last part of the book. Synergize promotes the idea of unity, the idea that united we stand, divided we fall. This makes us aware that by being different is not a shame, but an opportunity to work together and come up with a better result. Diversity makes us know how important others are for us and we are for them. The seventh habit, sharpen the stuff, is the last part of the book, which is only there to feed the other six habit. It talks about the renewing and strengthening the four key dimensions in our life. Body, brain, heart, and soul. We can strengthen our body by having healthy meals and by exercising. By reading and teaching, we can renew our brain. Our heart is renewed by making positive relationship with the peoples. And the soul is renewed by being close to the nature, by praying or doing the things we enjoy. Of the four areas of our life for renew, then we can grow and change. Sharpen the sun makes us fresh and able to practice the other six habits. Seven habits of highly affected people is not only a theoretical analysis of the habit, but also a 
only around faith into a meaningful and a life. If faith attentively, it shows all the directions to have a good and a life. This is the book for those who lay confidence in themselves, who does not fulfill their dreams, who think that they are not doing what they really need to do. This is for those who can't have a stable relationship with their family members, family, colleagues, friends, and all others who are related with them. Or I must say, this is for all of us. Thanks for your attention.